won over 2,000 awards. Where do you keep them all? Well, I got the best ones in my trophy room in my house. Uh -huh. um, Wow. Where I go in there and wow. sit. Yeah, sit on my uh, throne and drink liquor and look at them. I love it. <laughs> Tell everyone what we're making today. What we're doing today, I mean, great barbecue is great barbecue. We got our uh, barbecue chicken over here. It's yeah. got my tangy sweet sauce on it. But you got to have great sides to make it work also. And my favorite side is fried okra. I didn't know that yeah. until I got here. And also another one of my favorites is cream corn, uh -huh. homemade cream corn. So we're going to do the fried okra right there. I love cream man. corn. How about fried okra? Get this away from me. Well, no, so good. Uh, your, your job is to make me love fried okra because this is all Kelly talks about. When you're doing fried okra, you always want to pick the pods of, from a small to a medium size. You uh -huh. don't want to do anything like the big pods that look about that long, yeah, like the king squash. Tough. Well, the yeah. uh, seeds are large too. Uh -huh. right. So I want you, Ben, to cut these pods. Oh, that Ben's side. making okra. This is the, the I work. gave you one there to mark by it. So you'll have some direction on what to do then. Don't mess this up. Thank Everybody's so depending much. on you, Thank Ben. Thank you so much. Watch the digits. All right, while Ben's getting that ready, we got right. right here fine ground cornmeal. Not corn flour. It's not flour mix. It's this fine ground cornmeal. This is my nightmare. This is my nightmare. You want to add a little bit of salt? All right, so we put mix. that in there with our corn A little milk. bit of black pepper. Yes. Now, take all your okra right all there. The pieces. All of that. So I love this little shovel thing. This is that wonderful. Is it's like darling. A, it's like, yeah. And it's funny because it's like a dust shovel and okra tastes like dirt. So this is <laughs> wonderful. All right. All right. Oops, now zip it up. It. There we go. Zip your bag up. That. Wow, that's a huge Ziploc bag. I've never seen one that big right. before. All right, now shake it up really well. Yeah. It's going to be a mess if you get that. Yeah. All right. There you go. Cover it, coat it. All right. All right, now, dump it over here in your colander. This is going to get all the excess meal off. And you said your, your mother used to make it boiled? Make it just, no. Yeah, my granny did. Oh, your grandma yeah. did boil. She'd yeah. take black eyed peas and throw a pod in it. And when she threw the pod in it, that wound me up. I wasn't eating it no more because it made the peas slimy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My granddad liked it that way, but I didn't. I like it boiled, fried. Like I said, we got baked. enough okra here. I mean, enough cornmeal here to do a half acre. We do. Yeah. So you shake it out, you shake out the excess. Shake it out, mm -hmm. but I don't think we got enough shaking time here to do that. But what yeah. you do, you see how yeah. fine coat that is? Yes. Yeah. You lay it out flat on your sheet. Right. Now, a lot of times when you, a lot of people batter up okra, mm -hmm. they want to do a uh, egg wash and all this kind of stuff. Well, you're messing it up when you do that. Oh, yeah. But you want the batter to stick. So you take it after you get this tray full, after you batter it, stick it in the freezer and freeze it. Then you come to your grease. Uh -huh. and you drop it in. Right. Or you can take it off the tray after you freeze it, put it in a Ziploc bag, and then refreeze it right quick, and it won't stick together when you get ready to bring it out of the freezer. Yeah. That'll come in handy when I don't make this at home. You will make it at home. <laughs> we have You're going to fall in love with we it. We have the best barbecue guy in the world here, I'm and making we're making okra. a vegetable. Well, we got barbecue, too. <laughs> All right, we're going to no. drop it in, 350 degree peanut, peanut oil. I like peanut, peanut oil. Peanut oil. It's got a higher burn rate. Uh-huh. Now, you're not just the barbecue master, you're also the mayor. I'm the mayor of my little town in Unadilla, Georgia. I love it. 1,500 people. 1,500 people. Do you ever cook for the town? When I'm politicking, I do. I know, right? Oh, when you're getting that vote, yeah. what's it like to be the mayor of your town? It's fun. I'm a, uh, it's a part-time job, but I spend more time doing that than stuff that really makes me money. Yeah. Mm. I'll stick it right here. How about that? Yeah. Ben ain't going to eat it, no way. I, I, will. I will. I will. I'm going to try this. And you know what? This is the day. No need to re-salt because you got that in your meal. Oh, yeah. It's ready to go. Let's cut this off. It's like Skittles mm. for Kelly. <laughs> you eating that? Oh, yes. That's yes, hot as fish grease. Mm. Well done. <laughs> mm. And so tell us about the corn and the chicken, too. Here. All right. The cream corn right here is another favorite of mine. It goes along with the okra. It goes along with your barbecue. And mm. the cream corn, you take silver queen. You cut it off the ears. Uh, I like to use about 40 ears of corn because it don't go far. Yeah. I mean, 40 ears of corn is about like that yeah. much. Right. I mean, I can yeah. eat that by myself. But you come in, you got your salt, your pepper, a little sugar, cream, flour to thicken up the uh, cream and make it thick. Bring it to a little boil, then simmer for 20 minutes. Then you got cream corn. Looks beautiful. Love I mix mine together. Oh, yeah. I think that's what I might Just marry it all together. Yeah. All right. Put that okra in your mouth. Mm. I'm losing my fingers. Mm. Yeah. Now tell me that's bad. Mm-hmm. I like to get a whole bunch of them together. It gets bigger the more you chew on it, don't it? Mm -hmm. What if I mix it with the cream corn? <laughs> See, that's mm -hmm. really good. 
Ciao, guys.